But the difference between quantum mechanics and classical theory is that an object like a coin, a quantum coin, can also be in what we call a superposition of heads and tails. So that means that it can be in a state where it is, let's say, if we observe the thing, we'll talk about that a bit later, but it can be in a state where it could be 30% heads and 70% tails, or 40% heads and 60% tails, or any combination, any mixture of heads and tails. And that is a perfectly legitimate description of the state of the configuration of this thing. Um, just to give you a sense of a, a real physical object that would behave that way, uh, particles like electrons, for example, have a property called spin, which can be up or down. It's like heads and tails. But that's the key thing, that objects like electrons can not only have definite values of some, some property, some thing that you can measure, but they can be in a, a mixture of those things.